Hey guys, it's Carrie with oralhealthcoaching.com and carrieibbotson.com and I am so excited that school is back on track because that means instead of being summer mom, I am now back to oral health coaching. And I wanna to talk to you today about five things that you can do to really help control pH in your kid's mouth during the day, especially if they have cavities or if there's things that they're watching or if for some reason you're concerned about your kids getting cavities. So top five things, number one, you want to pH neutralize with the foods that they eat throughout the day. Encourage them to be less snackers and more clumping those meals together because every time you put food in the mouth, it changes the pH. And a lot of times that leads to extra acidity. So anytime that you can look at the foods that you're eating and end with foods that are more alkalizing, you're going to get much better results. Some of those things are nuts, cheese, cucumbers, uh, the more tart apples, uh, berries, cruciferous vegetables, things like that are really going to help get that meal to a place where you're leaving less alkaline than acidity. Then you want to talk about easy to dissolve xylitol candies that you can use in your kid's lunchbox. There are a ton of schools that have a no gum and no candy rule, but really it's for the gum. So if you can get them xylitol candies in their lunchbox, first they're going to end with that alkalizing food and then they're going to get some easy to dissolve xylitol candies. Spry gems are some of them, zellies, there's some great products out there, but you want to look for the mints instead of the gum. Then with your kids water bottles during the day. Hopefully they're not drinking juice or anything like that, but if for some reason they are, try and get as much water in as possible. But with that water, what you want to do is you want to teach them to swish and swallow. A lot of kids don't pay attention to the fact that when they are thinking and not paying attention or really paying attention to something, their mouth begins to open. And if their mouth opens, you have the opportunity to dry out that thin saliva and it leaves behind the thick saliva. And that's not the stuff that you want because that's what holds on to acids and to bacteria. So teach them to really swish, get that water, swish and then go ahead and swallow it. Then you want to test the water that is also in the bottles as well. A lot of people don't realize that their water can be acidic. So imagine if you're drinking that all day long thinking that you're putting something good into the body but if it's acidic it could be doing just the exact opposite. And then number five, the last thing that you want to do, there is a company called Lolo's, L-O-L-O-Z. And those candies don't contain xylitol and they don't contain a lot of the other products and sweeteners that people get concerned about. So what they do do is they help to kill off that cavity causing bacteria for three months and they're super easy to use. They have them in lollipops or in discs. And so on your kid's ride to school, give them a Lolo's if it's the first 10 days. The way that you use these is kind of unique. You have two a day for 10 days and you use that once every three months. So we're coming up on autumn. If you're seeing this at a different time, try and pick a beginning of the season or just kind of know where you are. They get two a day for 10 days and then they they don't have them for the next three months so you go through that cycle. So there's your top five things that you can do to really help control cavity frustrations that you might be experiencing during that school year. If you've got questions, I've got answers. Leave them in the comment section below. Let me know what I can do for you. There's a lot of stuff that happens with healing cavities and getting healthy mouths and some of it is just taking a lot of these pieces together and making it user-friendly for you. That's what I'm here for. Till next time, thanks for being here and we'll see you soon. Bye.